love playing with kaleidoscopes. The brilliant reflections. The sound of the colors turning. When I was little, I would train my eye by looking for the true triangle. The one that really existed. The one that I was looking through that was only being reflected in the mirrors. But thinking of it now, there is no real triangle. What we see through the prismatic tunnel is not an actual object, but a collection of shapes and light viewed through our singular perspective. The triangle does not exist free of the tube. The shapes I see are but shadows of the things in the wheel. What I see and call the real triangle isn't an object. It's a relationship between me, the space in the kaleidoscope, the toy, the light, the pieces. What would it be if there were no colored pieces at the end? What if there was no mirrored tube? What's left in that space? Ego death is a daunting topic central to the spiritual journey. Many teachings emphasize the need to experience this and many plant medicines have been historically used to bring about ego death as part of powerful healing traditions. But what is it really? In short, experiencing and using it to grow spiritually means embracing death as an ally. The concept is simple. Learning to die to yourself before the end of your life. The execution, however, is more complex. Ego death is a common and transformative part of near-death experiences, but you don't have to brush so close with death in order to experience it. Shamanic and plant-allied journeys can induce this experience as well. Let me tell you a story from my travels. There was someone who had begun a journey with mushrooms and the trip was beginning to make them feel nervous because they felt weakened and helpless. Normally, whenever they were nervous about bodily sensations, they would recall biological and neurological facts that comfort themselves with science and knowledge. So they went to do this to soothe the fear that they were feeling. But it didn't work. Suddenly they discovered the information simply wasn't there anymore. They loved science. They loved researching and collecting this information about how things worked. They viewed themselves as the type of person who knew these things. But that was simply gone. It felt like whatever part of their mind was usually there just wasn't. They said at that moment, I don't know what I usually know. They felt like their familiar personality had vanished. This was an ego death, one subtle yet complete. Ego death, you see, is like any death. Not an end, but a moment. However long, it is a suspension of your ego. A shutting off of the conscious mind. A releasing of every memory attachment we usually collect and refer to as I. Specific information, like your hobbies, mental frameworks, or habitual thought forms that you bond with and hold on to because you feel like they're parts of you. For a while, all of that dies. And in the space that silence creates, you experience being without it. Just 
being. Realizing that without all of that, you somehow still exist. Experiencing that there is a you, unconnected to all of that. Conscious, still. Empty. Open. Perhaps you can understand it more deeply by listening to sound. Right now, you're hearing me talk. You hear the words I'm saying and the sound of my voice and think of the result of these things as my voice. But my voice is different when I have a cold. When I am in a different room. Where is the division between my voice and my body? between my voice and a room, between my voice and your hearing. What if my body were a different size? What if you had an innate ear disorder? What if you heard only the information and not the tone? Isn't this still my voice? And then, what if it was silent? And there was just your hearing. Listening. Just awareness. No sound separate from the listener. Who are you without all the noise? Not even hearing. Just being. Consciousness. This is dying before dying. Being willing to release the past. Release the attachment to the things you think you know and embrace open emptiness. Release your body. Release your worries. Release your plans. To expand into the void instead of fearing it. To willingly let go instead of suffering and clinging. To know that no matter what you become along the way, you'll need to move beyond it from time to time. Because it is not really you. Just a collection of information, memories, perspectives, all seen through one unique, glittering point. One that changes, shifts, and grows. That which is never born, but gives birth to all things. That which never dies, but within it, all things die. Ego death is the experience of oneness.